So this is a video response to a video I watched earlier today entitled, Why Atheists Are More Likely to Use Cannabis. Now anybody who knows me knows that the title of this video alone contains a couple of different subjects that I myself would instantly have an opinion on, and I do. But that's not exactly the direction that I'm really wanting to go with this at this point, because the, uh, the video itself I thought was actually very well made. It presented the ideas it had to present in a very logical, calm, rational way. And the fact that I don't necessarily agree with the things that was said is kind of beside the point because I respect the fact that it was relatively how I might feel controversial statements made in a very calm and rational way, which made me want to open up uh, a, a debate of rapport, I guess you could say, with this person. And so... At this point, most of the, the, the things I'm going to say are actually directed towards the author of the video entitled, uh, Why Atheists Are More Likely to Use Cannabis. And in this video, he, uh, the, the point that he seems to, to come to is that he feels that atheists as a whole are devoid of a search for meaning in their life because if we reject God, or the idea that there is a God, that we do not believe in it, then that we obviously have a big, huge void in our life, and that we choose to fill that void with drugs, or that we are more likely to fill that void with drugs. And the exception that I take to this is that I myself am an atheist, and I have a search for meaning in my life, I believe the purpose of life is to find what meaning is relevant to you in your existence, because every human being, though we're made up of the same chemicals, is different. As we all have aspects of personality that are inf influenced by upbringing, and some people theorize of influenced by genetics and influenced by our environment, and there's all these different elements that, that impact, for lack of a better term, a person throughout their life, and, and these impacts shape who you are as, as, a, as a being, as a human, I think. And, and so to, to, to blanket atheists with, well, none of them have a search for meaning in their life or any source of meaning whatsoever, so they're more likely to turn to drugs. I, I, I think, I, I feel that's almost kind of an unfair statement to make because, like I had mentioned, I myself reject the idea of a god. I, I do not believe that this is a logical or rational viewpoint for anyone to have based on the evidence, evidence, whatever. I mean, I understand this is touchy subjects, and I'm not trying to state my viewpoint as law. I'm just stating my viewpoint as I see it. And so I, I, I feel that it's irrational or illogical to have a viewpoint on, on, on God as being existing. And yet I still have a, a search for purpose and meaning in my life, it's simply not related to God. So I guess to summarize the point that I'm, that I'm trying to make is that I, I don't think that atheists are more likely to turn to drugs as a source of meaning or inspiration in their life any more so than anyone else. I, I think that's actually something of an unfair statement to make. Um, I would say if, and that's a big if, if atheists are more likely to turn to, to narcotics or cannabis or what have you as a source of inspiration, I would think that that would be more due to the lack of of the, the Christian influence of saying that these substances are so abhorrent and against God, even though God made cannabis. It's a naturally occurring plant that humans had to do relatively little to to be able to consume. But that's it's really beside the point. And, and so I, I, I guess once again to summarize, I, I think it's unfair to say that Atheists are more likely to use cannabis because they have a big void in their life. I think that's actually selling the atheist viewpoint way short of what it is, and that's also making a blanket judgment as atheists as having some sort of group affiliation other than that we all don't believe in God. And that there's, that's really it. There's no, there's no real methodology to it or defining... Um, 
uh, uh, requirements. You don't have to have anything to be calling yourself an atheist other than a lack of belief in God. And that's really the only thing that all atheists universally have in common. Because there is no, no set doctrine for being an atheist. So... Um, that's pretty much the points I have to present to you, and I, I look forward to seeing what what you have to say in response to this, and I hope the day finds you well, sir. Have a good one.